Yo, what's up? It's James from Orchard Clothing and I'm here to bring you my July slash August pickups. So since I went to Hong Kong during August, I didn't really pick up much there. So I'm just like combining my July and August pickups since I picked up most of my stuff in July. I think overall I spent quite a lot. You spend way too much money, man. You spend yeah. more money than you have this month than I have for like a year. Probably, yeah. I think it'll, it'll be around like 2K, but yeah, um, let's go on the video. So yeah, um, my first item is the, I put in like a really like, clean packet, so I don't want it to get dirty. The reason why it's in the packet is because if you can see, I got it signed, oh, I don't even know where it is. Yeah, I got it signed by ASAP Bari, and yeah, at that time I thought I was like, I thought I was like, whoa, this is a great. I mean, it's still a grail, but then like, another lie, I don't think anyone would want Aesop Bari's signature right now, in it. Yeah, after what happened, after, um, after I feel like a tiny it. bit ashamed of keeping this tea, but I mean, it's still signed, so like, I might as well keep it. Like, James told me the reason why he hasn't washed it because he doesn't want the signature to fade. But well, personally, I think you should get rid of that ASAP. <laughs> I mean, the, no, the only reason why. I got I got another one. You know I got I bought another one, the exact same, oh, yeah, just yeah, because yeah. I didn't want to wear the one with the signature yeah. on it. Well, my second and third items is also from the Velo pop up, which is the Velo fragment tees. I got I think in total I got three or four. I think I got four in total. How much was the retail? Retail two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred pounds. And um, basically it's like reversible, as in I don't want to take it out of the packet because it's like bullshit. It's clean, but um, on the. Well, at the front it has VLAN and then on like the left, like bottom left, it has the fragment symbol. But then if you like reverse the T, it also has the VLAN fragment on the back. Like word of advice, I think in hot countries, it will like stick to your back. Yeah. Like just a side note. I think it's pretty much a thing for big print. You always should wear like yeah, a t-shirt t-shirt underneath it. Yeah, but otherwise it'll, it's just too sticky. Um, yeah, well, pretty much because it is reversible. That's why the yeah. board, the print's on either side. So either way, if you, if you wear it front or back, then like, yeah, it'll stick to you. But I think I'm looking to like, you know, I might sell it because I don't know why I would have four. But yeah, moving on, um, my third item, as you all know, um, the Supreme LV collab. I managed to pick up two pairs of jeans in Hong Kong. So yeah, um, I went like one day, I just went to LV store just to check it out. And these were just sitting. So they had three pairs, I think two waist 34 and then one 36. And so I managed to pick up two pairs. The other pair is in the wash. I managed. I paid seven, like equivalent, seven thirty. Yeah, I mean, pounds. retail on UK was six forty. Six, six forty. Yeah. And I paid seven. Yeah, basically seven thirty. Yeah, basically seven thousand three hundred HKD is roughly seven hundred thirty pounds now. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. So it's pretty like, more like, quite. Good. And I think the quality of it. I think for like seven hundred thirty pound jeans, these are actually thin. They're, they're really thin, yeah. They're, like I was surprised when I was like feeling it. Like they were like really thin, but at the same time, they are, they are really nice. Yeah, at the same time, they like the stitching on it. Uh, yeah. They pretty much stitch. They use, pretty much use different color stitching on the monogram. Mm. And like, it's got yeah. the LV at the back as well. Yeah, you want to see LV at the back. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, but thirty four because your like your waist size is my waist. Th- my waist size is thirty one, but they only have thirty four, thirty sixes. Yeah. So that's why I picked. And then they they look they do look pretty nice when you wear them though. Um, I think like, even though like even you have yeah. to like roll it up, it still looks pretty yeah. nice. And plus you need to like put on a belt just because these are like three inches bigger than what I yeah. normally wear. But my fourth pickup are these off white joggers, which I managed to buy I think a few days or like a week before I went to Hong Kong, and yeah. Um, I know what they're called, but they're called like random piece, I guess. So yeah, um, on the left leg, it says peace. And then down both legs, it has like, you know, seeing things, which is like part of the new collection. Yeah, and it's got war at the back as well. And then, yeah, it's got war down both trouser legs. You can see. What was the retail on those? The retail on those, I bought it in Selfridges. The retail on those, I think was 345 pounds. Oh, that's pretty expensive. But um, yeah. Do you think I, it's worth I, 345 pounds? Uh, I mean, the selfish is always up the price because like, it's full of rich people. <laughs> so, I mean, the zips are pretty nice. Yeah, it's like, just all like metal well, kind of zips. I don't know if it's was 300. But I managed to get a hundred pounds cheaper. Yeah. Um, that's that's oh, that's what I say. Okay. So I managed to get these yeah. for two hundred forty-five pounds. And to be honest, the the reason why I bought it because like I want to get it as a set. But then the t-shirts. I don't know about the hoodies and the crew neck, but the t-shirt. It's a different shade of purple to the trousers, which I don't really know why. Mm. That's the only reason why I didn't buy it as a set. But so yeah, darker shade or lighter shade? 
I think the t-shirt is a lighter shade. I oh, think it's yeah. like a light sh faded. If it was purple. a darker shade, it would suit it better. But it says it's yeah. lighter, it doesn't. Really yeah, I really like the design because it says like peace in front and a war at the back. So it's kind of mm. overall. These are quite thick as well. So if it's you're not wearing like during winter, yeah. it'd be fine. It's not really a standout off-white piece, but at the same time, yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Yeah. So, ooh, my next item. Oh man, my next two items is Andrew picked these up for me, so can uh, uh, contrast. Okay, the Alexander Wang Adidas Season Two Ski Mask. So for the yeah. first drop, like James, like James was in Hong Kong when he asked me to cut these, and I was like, okay. So I went into the uh, Adidas flagship store in Carnaby Street, and then I was like, yeah, can I have just like two of the masks? And they were like, why do you want two of the masks? Like, what stuff are you into? I'm like. It's for my friend, but nah, they were just um, looking at me weird when I bought them. Yeah, I've like, the first time I tried these on, these are actually quite thick material as well. They're kind of, they're quite pretty comfortable and it's like, um, you can wear it as a, was it, is it balaclava? Yeah, but a balaclava and I swear a beanie that's the well. main reason why you bought this. Yeah, you can wear it as a beanie and a balaclava. So this yeah. is like the beanie version. So it has the upside down trifold. Yeah, I think the retail the front, one each was like, 30, no, 27 pounds. 20, yeah, 27, 27 pounds. Something and then like that. if you roll it down, boom, yeah. balaclava. But, but not gonna lie though, the quality on this is pretty like, not, not really. I feel it's, it's actually pretty thick as well. No, the quality, like if you feel it, it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like wool, kind of. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I, I, I thought it would be like 50 pounds or something, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty there, thick. I mean, as like, well. yeah, there's like, you can do that, or like, you know. You can just make it into like a fat beanie, and there's like a button that you can button it up as well. Yeah, and I've I don't know why I bought these two. These two just look cool. Yeah, I so to I this might, day I still don't get why you bought, you want to. I think if I'm like camping out for Supreme or something, these will keep me warm during the work, during the night. But yeah, um, do you think you're famous? Like you just put it down. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my next pickup is was gifted to me by my cousin actually. It's a camo Prada handbag. Which is like, it's feminine. Yeah, but, I was gonna say it's pretty feminine. Like, but I can't imagine you wearing it out. Like, like it's just, like, no, it's actually pretty cool. It's like studs as well. I mean, I, I think this will look good with like the, um, was it the Supreme LV camo like overalls and shit. Oh, that would yeah, look kind of yeah, cool, yeah, like yeah. the yeah, denim yeah. shit. Yeah. But it's like studded. You can see at the bottom, like all around, and yeah, it's got like a few pockets inside. There's like. You can see there's like a zip pocket which says Prada and then there's like two like mini pockets here. And it also comes with like a little kind of side kind of waist strap. Oh, okay. no, it's not waist strap, shoulder strap. Yeah, shoulder strap. So you can wear it like a shoulder bag or you can carry it around like a handbag. And to be honest, I, I actually really like this man bag. Man bag, yeah, I really like this. I don't know why, it's, like, it's a woman's handbag, but I really like this. So I think I might like wear it out. Next pick up, these are my Oh, if you can see, oh, monogram, it's not focusing, oh well, oh, yeah. LV, it's just LV, I think they're called city masks and sunglasses. The Supreme Louis Vuitton one had those ones as well, but in yeah. red. In red and black, and yeah, yeah. it said Supreme at the front, which I didn't really like, I wanted the monogram ones. I thought this and the other Supreme one was like two different designs of the Supreme LV yeah. collab. That's why I, so I thought it would well, just like, say like Supreme on the arm or something, but um, Funny story, I was meant, I think it was the the day before I went to Hong Kong, I was meant to get a scarf, which I'll show you later, I got another scarf, but I was meant to get a scarf, and then like when I saw this, they like, in, like suddenly restocked it, I was like, yo, I have to get this, like ASAP, I was like, I'll get a scarf another day, but I don't think I'll ever see that. How much was it again? Decent, like, 320 pounds. 320 pounds. Yeah, I should do shoes, but actually no, yeah, I'll do shoes next. Um, these are the Air Max 97 Summit Whites, I think they're called. Basically, like the lower part of it is snakeskin, and it's just like a, it's like a cream white Air Max 97, which I really liked because they're really I mean, good. Yeah, I before yeah, I, I, like I really, well, I really liked 97s. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna collect. Like, I mean, every single like, colorway. The silver bullets. I got the gold bullets. Yeah, I got silver gold, and I got yeah. these as well. Yeah. And I think there's like a few more cut. There's like this year, there's so many different colors coming yeah, out, I mean, which I are like kinda, mostly. I kind of like the triple black one as well. Triple black ones, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, re the only reason why I got them is because they had like the snake skin at the bottom, which I really liked. And these retail for, I think, £10 more than normal 97s. Like, yeah, um, moving on, my second shoe pickup, other, they're really dirty, but Balenciaga runners. It's just like a 
harachi. I, I think if I split it down, it's a yeah. sock with a harachi sole on it. I mean, like for the retail, for the VTEX, like, for 430 or something? Yeah, 435. Yeah. I, I mean, it. like seeing it in person now, um, they're like dirty now. I don't, I don't know if it's actually worth 430 pounds, but I just need to clean them up and then like, really like them. Like, I think the main reason is because Balenciaga. Well, obviously, well, yeah. It's like a city sock, you know, the Adidas city yeah, sock. Yeah, Adidas yeah, that city sock. With a Harachi back, like you said. Exactly. Um, but, mm, they, I mean, I like them. They are nice. Yeah. It's just that the retail is Sizing-wise, I think you need to go go half a size or a whole size down to fit, just because it's like a sock. Um, I got it true to size and it's, it was big, so um, I took the sole out of my Yeezys and I put it in. So basically my Balenciaga has a Yeezy Boost insole <laughs> inside to, to make them fit. But yeah, um, my going to my third shoe pickup are the Skechers. I don't know the model, but um, I'll call them Prime Knit. <laughs> they're not Prime Knit. <laughs> they're just like, yeah, they're just knitted. And no. I got them in Cardiff and they were around, I got it like student discounted. Um, to fifty-four pounds around, and this yeah, expensive. these are actually no. Trust me, these are like one of the most comfortable shoes you'll ever find. I mean, like there's like a new hype with Skechers nowadays, and yeah, yeah. everyone keeps on getting like the same model. So that's why when I saw it, I was like, nah, I want to get this like the, these pretty much prime knit model, and <laughs> those look it. pretty nice. They kind of remind me of the you know the Yeezy Seven Hundreds. I, I don't see the resemblance. I don't know. It's for some reason it just reminds me. But of yeah, um, it has s kind of silver glittered on the front, and then on the sides as well. On the back heel, there's like a little bit of glitter. And yeah, overall, I'll actually I rate this shoe so highly just because it has memory foam at the bottom. <laughs> so it's like the most comfortable shoe I own really? to date. Um, moving on, um, um, my yeah. This is like the statement piece that was recently uploaded onto my Insta and everyone was like, yo, what? Like, man, what is that? Yeah, is that legit. scarf? Is that, what yeah. is that? So yeah, um, to clarify, this is a padded scarf. So like for winter and stuff, it'll like keep you warm, hopefully. I actually bought it along with me to Hong Kong and I wore it. Yeah. And my neck was sweating. Man, the thing was, um, I thought it was like 200 pounds or something and I was like, Jesus, okay. But then you told me the retail was 495. So it's like near 500 pounds for yeah. Valencia. I was like, James, what are you doing? Like, so yeah, uh, this is part of the Fall Winter 17 collection. And there's not really else, much else to say. It's a wrong scarf. It's like, you know, it's like one of those things the priests wear. Yeah, like, like if you put on me, like, trust me, I would look too weird with this. <laughs> like, you should wear it for the rest of the video, I think. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, oh, as well. Oh, yeah, it also says for winter 17. Yeah, for winter 17 there. Yeah. And yeah, as I said, retail was pretty high. I brought it, I bought it in Selfridges as well. Yeah, um, I feel rich. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah, my next two pickups, which are kind of like integrated into one, is the Baby Milo toy. Let's go for the Baby Milo toy first. Like the day before my flight, I was like, oh, I have like a hundred pounds and I don't know what to spend on. So I was meant to get like the the little bait toy with oh, the yeah. shark hoodie, which yeah, you yeah. wanted as well. Yeah, I think yeah. it comes in like three colorways. But that, they said they only had like four of each, so it's okay. So, my second to last pickup, uh, I managed to get at the airport before my flight to Hong Kong, and it's a Gucci scarf. If you can see, it's actually really big, it nearly like covers like the whole screen. But yeah, um, it's monogram and it says love on like, well, it says L O V on like, either, like all four sides. And I think it's like a lion or cat i don't even know <laughs> i think they call it cat but it's a silk scarf which i managed to get for 200 pounds which was like 50 pounds off from like the original price and i mean it's it's thin enough to like tie around your head as a bandana kind of thing or you can wear it as like a normal scarf so yeah. yes james bought this lv ring uh i don't know why <laughs> how much was it how much was the retail 255 255 pounds <laughs> for a ring. Um, it's really like low key. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't like, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell until I like looked really close and it's like, oh, it's an LV ring. And, and yeah, it's pretty, not gonna lie, you're pretty like, it's got like dented monitor. and everything, man. Yeah, um, I dropped it like two, three times. Oh man, I wouldn't do that to a ring. No, just because they don't have it like custom fitted, 
So it's like one size. So I tried to put it on like either one of my fingers and it just like, it was still too big. So that's why I have to like, when I walk, I have to like bend my fingers a little bit <laughs> just nah, so that it doesn't really. fall out. Yes. <laughs> nah, I have fat fingers. And, yeah, you do have fat fingers. Yeah. And, you have fatter fingers than me. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, these are like, you know, it's got the monogram on the Louis Vuitton. Well, I don't know if it's worth it. It's worth it personally, no, it's not worth it. Yeah, I know, actually, you would never yeah. buy something like that. Um, for me, it's kind of worth it, oh, I guess. Man. Like, you know me, I like to. Yeah, you know, okay. if I like it, then if it's not too expensive, right. um, you're in my in my you're case as well. But uh, yeah. yeah, and then your last item, my last item, which I'm wearing right now, my feet, Balenciaga slippers. So yeah, you've probably already done close ups. Yeah. But um, it's kind of like, is it wool? I don't know. It's like a towel material. It's a towel material. Towel material. Towel material uh, Seventy-five pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just like a normal kind of simple basic Balenciaga written and it's got like the three like lines and it says 2017 so it's the new logo and i got this from colette it's a colette i think that's how you say yeah, 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 uh, yeah. the french kind of yeah department store and i got that for equivalent 75 pounds i also got like another toy as well from there which i don't know there's not really much need to show you mm. but Thank you yeah really. Yeah. Well, this has been a really long video, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's about it. You spent a lot of money um, this month, it's like yeah. the past few months. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Follow us on our Instagram. Comment anything down below. And yeah, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Safe. Peace.